So we found this decompiler and now we have to somehow get this damn file, this password generator onto our local machine. But every time I try to do that, my connection crashes. So I need suggestions on how I can do that without breaking the connection to my machine because I switched out the payload of the Metapreter exploit and the, the payload that I picked doesn't work. And we, ha we, we just have one problem following the next one. All right, so let's go into home, Steven. I mean, you know what? We're just gonna do a poor, poor man's reverse shell, right? Where we are just gonna do something like that. Uh, I mean, I don't know if we get anything from it. We've changed the IP again. And here we have one more. So let's copy this. Let's paste it in here. Boom, boom, zack, zack. Let's get this one. Let's copy this. Let's go to this one. Let's go in here. Let's run this. This doesn't work. Okay, let's just grab the next one. Let's open up a shell. Bad. Everything is bad. Maybe we can do an NC stop. Maybe it does work with the C. No. Do we have NCAT? Maybe that's gonna work. Cat not found. But I do know for a fact that we have Python 3. So let's just grab this. Let's put it in here. And if everything works out, yes, we have a new session over here. Uh, what does it uh, get us absolutely nothing other than we can now get password. Uh, we can now get this file, get boom, boom. And we're gonna get absolute gibberish. So we're just gonna encode it with base64 into a file. Call it link. Boom. Oh, I cannot write it. All right. Come on. Then we're gonna put it in tem again. All right. And so now we can get this one. And if it overwhelms our shell like this. Ah, can we just copy paste this now or have I lost like everything? And I'm scrolling, rolling, rolling, rolling. I'm pretty sure uh, Linux shell. Do I have xclip installed? xclip? No. Coffee output tool. Really. Or Linux. Okay, everybody's telling me to use xclip. Yeah, because the problem is to follow. In this one, I can theoretically download it, but every time I do that, it it breaks everything. Oh, but wait, Python 3 M H X server, and then maybe we do it on port 7777. It works. Are you kidding me? It works. Can I go to vessel.htb and then 7777? Okay, apparently not. Maybe I do a slash uh, on HTTP front of it. This is gonna work. Fantastic. Yes. Thank you for your hint again with the download. We're just gonna download it right here. That's great. I don't know if SCP is present, but we did it like with the poor man's SCP. And now we are in here and we have the six uncompile or deep. And in here we have the, we, where did we download it to? Obviously to the download folders. So let's just copy it. What's that? We go to the downloads and have the password. Oh, why, why, why can't I use Linux like a normal human being? Uh, no, we have the password generator and we copy it to here. Boom, boom, zack, zack, boom. And now we have the password generator. Can we run it? I highly doubt it. Okay, let's do ch mod plus x to the password generator, boom, and then we can run it. And we have not an interpreter, but we have decompile, right? Or what was the tool called that we need to do that? Uncompile, sorry, not uncompress. Maybe I need to start a new shelf. Everything wants me to run uncompress. Maybe I need to start a fresh, fresh on everything's uncompress. Or is it because, no. So we can close this one up and maybe we just go and find out how we use this. Maybe I have to run it as sudo first, huh? All right, so let's get this. Boom, boom, zack, zack. Yes, and now we have it. Fantastic. How do we use it? We say young compile and then compile file. Okay, and our compile file is the password generator. I mean, it told us that we can, after getting RC there, password and password protect PDF file. I mean, it's kind of funny how the description for the machine is basically the solution to the machine, which is kind of weird. I mean, let's just copy this password generator. Password generator TYO. All right. And let's do the same with the TY. Okay. So this, so the, the, the machine is lying. Uh, maybe we can just do a string. So the password generator, uh, I mean, it says it's Python. Okay. You know what? Uncompile six. I mean, help. I need somebody, not just anybody. 
Okay, we have Python 3.7, so this should work. Uh, on compile, let's go to on file 6 and then Windows by name. I, I, I would be very confused if that's the solution. Let's uh, remove this one and try it again. Mm -hmm. I think that's just a way to say that that's a variable, I guess. Oh, come on. How do I do that? That makes no sense. Why is the solution telling me to do A when A is not working? I mean, you know what? Sudo pip install D. Why is, doesn't it auto suggest decompile? Okay, let's go with D6. Oh, it's uncompiled. I'm sorry. Maybe decompiled 3 is like... I mean, they said something around, okay, I mean, you know what, let's try it with this one. Because why not? Why not just install random tools from the internet? Nothing bad's gonna happen from that. I mean, maybe the three will get that this is the correct file. I mean, if we have the Python bytecode, we don't need to reverse engineer, right? All right, let's, let's do a strings password generator again and everything is pointing to python right this is definitely written in with with some python probably you call it exit with this something maybe we go to hack tricks as well hack tricks and then we search for oncom aha yeah i mean wow okay yeah um, I mean, yeah, why, why am I so stupid? So let's CP the password generator to PYC. Pretty young. No smart word comes to mind with PYC in terms of pretty young and then a word with C. Unknown magic number. Okay, so this means we have to add it. So we have Python 3.7, right? Uh, I mean, maybe we can just get this hey joey and we have joey again over here say hello to joey we have two cats trying to hack into the system right now meow we have import lip is the new one. Oh, come on python is always a pain in the ass with all their versions i mean let's go into shell here then i mean it's written for this one so let's do a pipe 3 i hope this works as python 3 ls anything Nothing is working. All right, let's end this. Let's. My cat is eating my headphones. Let's. Let's actually grab this one again. Our old reliable Python C thing, and now we will have a Python in uh, in three. Boom. Mm -hmm. And then we get imp magic number, and now we get the same one. Okay. And here we exit out of this one. Sorry, I have to type everything with one hand because. My cat is occupying the other one. So now I have to do everything left-handed, even though I'm right-handed. And in here we have like this, um, what is it? Password generator. And we go GG, which means we are on top. We paste an enter and then we paste this magic number. And I'll just hope this works like that. And now we do that again. Ah, okay, I'm stupid. Let's just win back. Let's remove that from here and let's actually open the PYC and paste it in here. And now we can maybe hopefully finally do that. Why? Because it's not, I have to do it with the hex editor. Yeah, it's actually, my cat is actually doing bye bye the hacking. Okay, so let's open up Vim, this one, boom, boom, remove it here, boom, boom, tack, close it up here. Okay, we need to add this to the thing. Okay, how do I do that? And then password generator.tyc and um, how can i add a new line come on i mean can i just paste it in here i, I hope i didn't break anything then save yes uh, let's call it maybe two PLC. i know what okay let's actually see what the byte code looks like in here and what it looks like in here uh we have one zero too many how can i get rid of a zero delete oh, come on please don't tell me that i have to do it uh so i'm here right let's paste it okay so this now looks correct right no apparently it's still not correct why is it still not correct how many times have we tried this now and now we okay perfect i didn't want that i want this paste it in here and now we do a pi 3.7 why is python such a pain you know what python 3.7 imp magic number just give me the damn magic number i don't want 3.4 why can i not just google for it and get a result 
you know what, I'm going to ask ChatG on my second monitor. Um, what is the magic number of Python 7? So apparently now ChatGPT is analyzing the source code of Python 3 to determine the magic number. All right, I found something. I'm going to try that something. And I hope that ChatGPT knows it's shit. No, 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 no. What's happening? Hello? Okay, so this should be the number, right? I hope so. I hope so. At least we got something this time. Okay, but uh, I guess I messed up first time where I just needed to replace these parts. And now let's just type a2, a3 in here, EYC, and we get the same. Okay, so in here, we have this one, which will turn into a zero. You are a zero, 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 and everything is fine. And we're going to save. Ah, did I open the wrong one? Cancel. Okay, so this means in here, we want something different, which I'm just going to grab from my resources. Something like that, right? And now you are going to be number four at YC. And now we're going to test if number four, the TYC, bad Marshall data. What the hell does Eminem have to do with this? Okay, maybe we have to do it with the uh, uncompiled number three. Yeah, now all of a sudden you don't find the uncompiled three. Hmm? Or, or is it because this time it's called decompile? Okay, so we have Marshall Matters, which doesn't really like it. Mm. Now, how do we circumvent this problem? We have to find a way to get the bytecode somehow. I mean, I guess the problem is because I have like Python, some other version of Python, but I think I have like a workaround on how to get that working anyways. Uh, let me find it. If I can't just find it in my sheet, that workaround would make me complete. Yeah, I mean, I learned some very cool trick, which I totally forgot with pen when. Okay, okay, so it should be this. Maybe we can make it work with this one. All right, so pip install, you know what? That's actually a sudo install what is called one and then we say virtual n p 53.7 when why python come on why are you doing this to me and that's one reason why you should hate python as well okay so it looks like i dump ck it's doing something even though i'm getting permission denied maybe i have to run it as sudo i mean we got the permission denied so i'm just gonna do the following and now we shouldn't get the permission denied because if sudo is denied permissions who isn't denied oh that looks like we are actually doing something Woohoo! we are decompiling let me know with the like if you enjoy the decompiling process that you can see right on uh, this side. Something killed. All right. 695. It's happening. I think we want to get into this, right? Oh, that's the wrong one. Which one is it? So we have dot pies. Okay. We just want to find the pie. So here we have a pie. An apple pie. And we have this gen password. And this are... And this is... Oh, nice. So this is the char set we're working with we're gonna have to do a brute force attack on we? by the way dove using the chat for having this tool suggested by krish i'm pretty sure we can just run this piece of code and it's gonna work out in our favor without any kind of problems we just have to do nothing because apparently everything is uh built in or is the qs rent somewhere i mean you know what we are gonna do that code oh, yes code all right, we have to VS code and now we are opening a new folder, open folder. This one should be it, open. As I trust the authors, why would I trust the authors? They're the best authors that have ever authored in my life. So let's get this. Let's just create a new file called pi. Yeah, I cannot. Okay, you know, let's see ch own phone. Okay, and now I should be able to create a file called Hacker. And in here, we get this gen password with the return password. We paste it in here. And now we can take a look at 
if it's good or not. Uh, okay, we don't need that. We just say here to print the password. I mean, the other question is, can we even execute it seeing as we are, are on a higher version of Python? We will find out. The char set is the big one because as I saw on the screen, they have set it to be the big one. This index was index something that we passed on and the value is 32. We don't need the char variable anymore. But if we have an accept, we will just get nothing. We do maybe a print x maybe something like that now we open the terminal and to do a pi 3 and a command pi qs rent is not defined all right us when ah so qs rent is not defined all right uh message is not defined okay nothing is defined apparently so let's just get rid of this and let's just print add out is the new pyc correct i'm not sure but i i'm just trying to find out if the randomness of this algorithm is kind of broken or not. Other than that, I just will have to do a brute force attack with all these characters. A 32 pass, uh, password thing, which means it's gonna take four. Thank you. Okay, so we have QS rent not defined. What do we do with this? What do we have in front of here? I mean, we have QS rent. I mean, why does everything with Python have to be such a pain in the ass as soon as you start introducing multiple versions? I've, I'm going to do another thing. And this thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this code and ask ChatGPT if it's vulnerable. Is this code or do I need to import Qt Core? You know, I'm not so much of a Python software engineer. Oh, okay. ChatGPT gave me a nice tip, which is it depends on the time. All right. It depends on the time. All right. Okay. Do we have a time on the screenshot? No, we don't have time on the screenshot, but we may have when it was created, right? Okay. No, we may be on the server itself. Okay. I'm kind of stuck on this one. We have to find a way to reproduce this code and see if it's vulnerable and maybe we can come close to the actual password. But seeing as it's running on a server, I doubt that it has any, any randomness. So we're going to take a look at the randomness next time.